Okay, we have come to video number two. Before we do all other, uh, all the rest of the activities, hedging, spreading, speculating, and arbitraging, let's understand the relationship of Clybor rate, rate and the futures index FKB3 first. Okay? Alright. Before this, when we did on uh, FCPO and FKLI, FCPO and CPO, they have positive relationship. Same goes to FKLI and KLCI. They also have positive relationship, meaning... If CPO price increases, FCPO prices will also increase. If KLCI or uh, the index, okay, the cash index increases, the FKLI will also increase. Okay, but in this case, right, the underlying instrument is the interest rate. And then, of course, it derives the futures contract. Okay, they are in different form already. And what we, uh, uh, since they are no longer in the same form, this is interest rate, another one is futures contract. So there is a negative relationship between them. What does it mean when the interest rate is expected to increase, the price or the index of FKB3 will fall and vice versa. Let's take a look at this. Okay, This is the cash market. Uh, the interbank money market or Clybor market where the borrowing and lending happen and this one is your futures market where uh, you buy and you sell the contract, the FKB3. Let's say now this, the interest rate is 7% and this interest is expected to rise later. Okay. Uh, and now the FKB3 is trading uh, and now the FKB3 is trading at 95.0. So what happened is when later the interest rate really increase, let's say from 7 to 9%, the FKB3 will fall from 95 to 92.5. So see, they have negative relationship. Okay, next is, let's say the interest rate is 7% and this interest is expected to fall later. And FKB3 now is trading at 95.0. But if the, uh, let's say, the interest rate 7% has really decreased to 5%. So what happened to the futures contract? The futures contract will increase. Because why? Because they have negative relationship. Okay. Falling, uh, increasing interest rate will make the FKB3 fall later on. The, uh, the decreasing interest rate will make the uh, FKB3 increases later on. Okay. Now, let's do the first activity, hedging with FKB3. Hedges are the intending borrowers and lenders. Okay, Hedges ni ada dua lah sama ada. They are borrowers or they are lenders. If you are potential lenders, you will concern about the rising interest rate. Why? Because the cost of borrowing will be higher. But if you are the potential lender, Alright, you concern about falling interest rate. Why? Because your interest revenue or prof operating profit will be lower. Therefore, hedging with Clybor futures or FKB3 is desirable because it can help to reduce the interest rate risk lah for the potential borrower and lenders. Okay, uh, the highlights come later because I forgot to click. <laughs> it's okay. Now let's move. To this one, the establishment of long or buying hedge. Potential lenders anticipate of falling interest rate. Okay, potential lenders they takut kalau interest jatuh. Kalau interest naik, they will not do hedging lah. They don't suka je because they will get higher interest revenue. They will hedge if they expect the interest will fall. So what they will do, they will buy the FKB3 now. Why? Because when the interest falls, the price of FKB3 will increase. Meaning to say, currently, the price of FKB3 is low. That's why we will buy FKB3 now. Okay? Alright, to hedge again the falling interest rate. Let's take a look at the example. You expect an excess fund of 200 million in December. You target, you buy, uh, you expect to get 200 million ringgit in December and this money will be lent, will be deposited in Clybor market because you are the surplus unit, you nak bagi pinjam duit you in the interbank money market or Clybor market. So, today is October. Bila nak dapat duit December? Ingat eh, October ni you belum start bagi pinjaman lagi. You uh, are not lending your money yet. You will lend your money in December once you get the excess fund. 
Okay, October ke December tu nothing happen just your expectation today that you are going to get 200 million later on in December. Bermula December selep, bermula daripada December only then you will land for 3 month. Okay, Pin, pinjaman you pinjaman you, yang you akan bagi tu bermula starting from December. Okay, alright. So in okay today is October in which the three months climb is quoting at 4.5 percent per annum while December FKB3 is trading at 95.1 in bursa Malaysia derivative berhad. In anticipation of falling interest rate, establish your hedging strategy by showing your effective interest rate if the cash rate is trading at 3.8 and December FKB3, alright, increase to 96.5 in December. So, first and foremost, we need to calculate the number of contract. How much money you will get and uh, you are going to lend in December 200 million divided with contract value how much? Contract size, satu contract equals to 1 million. So, you akan dapat 200 contracts. Okay. In the cash market, alright, today you expect to get the RM200 million fund to be deposited or to be lent, boleh tulis mana-mana saja, antara dua, in Klaibor market in December. You afraid the Klaibor rate or the interest rate will fall, therefore you will lose, you will lose, sorry, you will lose in the interest revenue. So, as we know, when the interest goes down, the price of FKB3 will increase. Who are you? You are the potential lender. When interest fall, the price of FKB3 will increase later. Meaning, currently, FKB3 is lower. So, masa dia masih rendah, what would you do? You will long hedge. You will buy 200 December FKB3 contract at 95.1. Ingat eh, potential, potential lenders here is actually buyer of futures contract. Okay, today in the futures market. So, later you get the money, what would you do? You will deposit or lend the 200 million ringgit in Klaibo market and the interest really for fell to 3.8. From 4.5 to 3.8. So, dia benar-benar jatuh. So, what happened in the futures market? The open position, you buy, you will close your position by selling 200 December FKB to contract at the price 96.5. Can you see? When the interest goes down, the index of the futures will increase. Okay? <coughs> so, we will determine the hedging profit or loss. Okay? First, let's take a look at the futures market. Uh, like always, to calculate profit or loss, always selling price minus buying price. But for FKB3, you have to times 100 basis point. Okay, and then you time with number of contract and finally times 25 ringgit. 25 ringgit is the value of every tick, alright, of fluctuation in the index. So, you end up getting how much? 700,000. That will be your profit in futures market. Okay, and then in the cash market, who are you? You are lenders. So, you will receive interest revenue. How to calculate the interest revenue? You will take the principal times the interest rate times uh, the 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 period of uh, lending alright berapa period lama you akan bagi pinjam 90 days starting from December so you will get interest revenue by 1.9 million ringgit so this is your inflow eh? it is your revenue katakanlah kita tak ada position in futures market you tak dapat apa-apa bahagian ni 700,000 is not yours alright kalau you tak enter position you will merely get only 1.9 million but because you make 700,000 ringgit in futures market, it gives you total net effect by how much? 2.6 million ringgit. Okay. Ha, sebenarnya, interest kita dapat cuma 3.8 sahaja. Okay. This one, 3.8 sahaja. But because of uh, the profit made here, it gives us more. So, effectively, the interest rate yang kita dapat is how much? This is where we will calculate the effective interest rate. How to calculate the in, uh, effective interest rate? Take the net effect over the principal times 300 uh, 60, 60 days over 90 days tetap eh, sebab kita memang akan bagi pinjam ke pinjam ke for 90 days so you end up getting 5.2% sebenarnya kita dapat 5.2% interest revenue not 3.8% why? because ni ada top up additional profit here from the futures market ok uh, 
So what we can conclude, the lending effectively generates 5.2% interest revenue for us with hedging compared to only 3.8% without hedging, which is lower. So we can say that this hedging is a success. Lah. Okay, uh, so let's continue with our video number three.